In this video, you're going to learn how to make this controller and headset stand. Let's get right to it. We're going to go ahead and start off with the base. The base measures 4 inches wide and 7 and a quarter inches long. Now my blade is a 7 and a quarter inch, so I couldn't cut the full length of the board. So what I did, I just flipped it, and I cut the same 4 inches on the other side, and that gave me the cut. The wood that I'm using for the base comes in a 7 and a quarter inches wide and about 6 or 8 foot long. I buy this wood off Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, it's called the Pine Select. The next piece of wood is 3 quarters of an inch by 1 and a half. We're going to cut a 10 inch thick with two 30 degree angle cuts on each side, facing the same way. As you can see here, I'm turning this stick the other way instead of just flipping it. If you flip it, it will give you the opposite angle to the first one you cut, so let's avoid that. I'm measuring from the beginning of the cut and not the beginning of the wood. For this piece, we're going to use the same wood we just used. It's going to be two 30 degree cuts on each side, same as the other one, except this is going to be a 4 inch thick instead of a 10 inch. For this one, let's grab the same piece of wood since it already has that 30 degree angle to cut and measure 1.5 inches and cut it straight. And lastly, we're going to cut two one and a half inch straight pieces. I would recommend giving all the edges a quick sand. Depending on how rough or smooth your cuts are, you're going to want to sand accordingly. I normally sand with a belt sander, however you can use any type of sanders. I'm currently using a palm sander here. Putting everything together is by far the most challenging. We're going to start by attaching the two 1.5 inch pieces to the 10 inch thick. Measure 1.5 inches from the bottom and make a mark. Then grab one of your pieces and try to align it so you can have an idea of where it's going to go. Sometimes it aligns better on the other side, so play with the pieces. Once you know which piece you're going to use, add a small line of glue running across. Then place the piece down on where you marked and align it and straighten it with a 10 inch stick. Use your fingers to feel where it's unaligned. The top half of your fingers to feel the piece and the bottom half to feel the stick. Gently press down with your palm. If glue comes out of the sides, just grab a piece of napkin and while holding the piece, just swipe the excess glue. If you're going to stain the wood later, I would recommend to try to remove all of the glue as the glue does not play well with the stain. For the next step, try to add the second piece in the middle of the first piece and the top of the stick. Now measure how much space you have between each pocket and try to make them the same or almost the same. Once you measured out the pockets correctly, go ahead and make a mark and add the second piece the same way we added the first. Now 
Now this step isn't necessary, but since I do ship all of these out, I nail most of my pieces. If you don't have a nail gun, don't worry. The glue should hold just fine after letting dry for 24 hours. Now we're going to work on gluing the top part. I always try to align it first with no glue to see how it's going to look and make sure it fits. Same as the other pieces, just a small strip of glue. Now once you press together and align it, hold it for at least 30 seconds before letting it go. Just like last time, nailing isn't necessary, but if you are going to nail this piece, be careful not to nail too much towards the top as it will come out the other side, and not too close to the edge because it will crack the wood. This next part would probably be the most difficult. Let's start off by placing the stick in the middle of the front of the base and measuring out the middle and then marking it. Let's go ahead and add some glue to the stick and attach it to the base. Push the stick down onto the base, align it with the markings and the front of the base. Keep pushing down onto the base for at least a minute before you try to move it. If you're not going to nail it, I recommend leaving it in this position for at least an hour or so. For the last piece, let's go ahead and try to align to the back of the stick as best as possible. Make sure to flip it as it might align better the other way. Once you're happy with how it aligns, go ahead and apply glue on both ends and attach to the back. Thank you very much for watching. This is actually the first build I post on YouTube, but there will be plenty more to come. I actually sell this item on Etsy, so if you're interested in buying it, there'll be a link in the description. Also guys, if you guys have any sort of question towards the build or anything related, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below.